Yeah, and Paycom really winning this exclusive deal, as you mentioned, in a really big marketing bid. You can see the sign already aglow in that bright green. We saw it first and foremost take effect early this morning. Out with the old. We just couldn't be more proud today. And in with the new. It's a great day for the Thunder. Goodbye, Chesapeake Energy Arena. Say hello. Welcome to Paycom Center. Joining forces, Paycom and the Oklahoma City Thunder celebrating the new naming rights in an exclusive 15-year agreement. How long was this in the making? It's been a while. This is a long-term commitment for Paycom and for the Thunder. Uh, it takes a lot of time and negotiation to, to do this. That negotiation coming with one of Oklahoma's largest companies. There are a number of brands of national prominence that we're interested in this, but quite frankly, Paycom made the most sense to us from the very beginning. The YMCA and Thunder Youth basketball players were the first to step foot on the new floor, decked out in the new green logo and on the outside. The downtown design committee approved an additional sign package that will include roof lighting and more illumination on the exterior of the building, which will really give this building a, a, a refreshed look, a new energetic look. Since we're getting a new name, does this mean we get a new nickname for the arena? We prefer that you call it Paycom Center, <laughs> and Paycom will prefer that you call it Paycom Center, so we'll leave it at that. Okay. Yeah, they were not too keen on any nicknames just yet. I also asked what that deal looked like. How expensive was that? Neither the city or the Oklahoma City Thunder were able to show that or share that information with me. I also asked when should all of these signs be ready outside the arena? They said it should be ready by the start of the season in October, something we're, we're excited about. We'll send it back to you. Abigail Jess, live in Oklahoma City. Christine Sandwood, KOCO 5 News.